Well, really quick video. Uh, I got some goodies in the mail. So that right there is the Arduino Pro Mini. What I did, uh, I got a whole package. I think I got six of them. Uh, right out of China. They've been a little while on order, but these things, uh, I think it worked out to $3.30 a piece. I'm not fully understanding why people are um, kind of ragging on the uh, Chinese knockoff Arduino stuff. Um, admittedly, the Arduinos were made in Italy. This is a knockoff as well. Um, but they're open source. Kind of the whole point is uh, being able to make them elsewhere. And uh, some of the, the stuff from uh, Korea, uh, Hong Kong, etc. Uh, you can't go wrong for these prices. They're crazy. So anyway, that's the little board that I'm going to, if I can get a focus, that's what it looks like. It is just a tiny little bugger. Um, there's quite a bit of uh, I.O. on these things. I'm, I have quite a few little projects in mind and these being at the size of them are going to be great. Uh, also a shipment of these came in. This is the Nokia uh, 5110 I believe LCDs. These were in cell phones in the late 90s. Um, they're blue black light in these. They're uh, an LCD not a uh, touch screen. Just a typical cell phone display. I forget the pixel count but uh, I think I think five of them or six of them worked out to eight bucks, seven bucks, something like that. They were, anyway, it didn't even register. So uh, I got some neat projects in mind for making these work. And uh, also uh, I'm still working on a condition monitoring system with the Arduino. Um, not that one. It's it's kind of put away. I kind of want to keep it under wraps a little bit because I've got some, a pretty neat idea. Um, Postman brought me this today too, my new USB microscope. Uh, again, this one didn't come from China or Hong Kong or anywhere. Or, uh, yeah, yeah. It, uh, it came from Amazon in the US I believe. Um, anyway, uh, some more goodies. These came a few days ago. Actually, probably a week or two ago. This is uh, I needed some new electrolytic caps. I have a couple of projects with some things I needed to fix. I might even show these already. Full bag, dirt cheap. These are not uh, not the best electrolytic cap. There there is a lot better, but for what I need, it works fine. And uh, I got sick of going through my drawer of resistors in my junk bin and finding values. Forget what the total cost on this was. I think it was uh, eight or nine dollars, and I uh, forget the count on these, but there's a, a pound and a half of resistors there. Quite a few, all values, all sorted. So uh, for that price, it's not worth piddling around digging through the junk bin anymore. Nice resistors, and uh, these also came to. I only needed a couple of transistors, but uh, again. An entire bag assortment of these things was well under ten dollars. Uh, I just needed some. I, there's no way I'm going to ever use all these, but for some of these Arduino projects, uh, they're pretty handy to have. It's a quick and dirty solution. Uh, you can custom make the circuit to suit any value, but as you can see, I've got all kinds of values for them. The only problem, kind of wish it came with uh, easy links to the data sheets for those. Be a lot quicker. Half the battle is uh, fucking them up, but yeah, well, no big deal. Um, yeah, that's about it. That's uh, that's where I sit today. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can wire up this Arduino uh, tonight. I have to solder the headers on these Pro Minis, and uh, that's about it. I'll see what I can make work. Anyway, thanks for watching. Well, one little uh, update before I go ahead and upload this. <clears throat> what I did was I, I soldered the Pro Mini, the headers on it. Uh, it's not the best solder job, but uh, uh, it'll do for now. Um, and uh, this is the, uh, oh geez, I forget the model of these 232 programmers. Anyway, it came with them. It was part and parcel deal to get one with the others. So I uh, plugged it in. I just loaded up the blank sketch. It already had the blank sketch on it, actually. Um, and uh, just to verify it <laughs> when I uploaded it. It had the same delay in the sketch, so I couldn't tell whether the LED was working, but um, 
I just changed the delay on it and uh, made it faster and slower. And it's working perfectly. So we'll hit upload and we'll see if we see some lights when we when it uh, when it goes ahead and programs. But uh, so far so good. Pretty impressed. There's the RX and the TX lights and boom, we're programming. Uh, it's a one f uh, pin to pin. No flip in the cables, no nothing, it's just straight pin-pin. Uh, if I had a female connector, it'd be a lot easier than using wire, but... Uh, uh, this is the only Pro Mini I'm going to put the headers on. I think the ones going forward, I, the applications I'm going to do, I'm just going to solder wires right to them and uh, run it out to the components. But uh, yeah, that thing is tiny, 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 and uh, a lot of power in that, so... Uh, first off, I'm going to hook one up to some drivers and uh, gonna fix my aquarium controller that have been driving me nuts that I can't do certain things with it. And, uh, well, now I just plug one of these outside and hook it to the existing outputs from the aquarium controller and I can do PWM and control some LED lights and lots of nifty stuff without uh, being stuck with their limitations anymore. And uh, yeah, it cost me $3 and what was some odd sense for the uh, for the Pro Mini and uh, well some other components, but uh, yeah, that's it.